In this video, we're going to continue looking at examples of how to solve exponential equations by applying logarithms. We covered these three steps in the previous video. If you have a variable in the exponent and you cannot find a common base, take the log of both sides, then apply your power property of logarithms to get the variable out of the exponent, and then solve for x. So let's look at examples 3 and 4. 4 to the x power equals 80. Now, 80 is not a nice power of 4. And so because I can't find a common base for them, I'm going to take the log of the left side and the log of the right side in order to solve. I'm going to take the log of 4x and set it equal to the log of 80. My x is in the exponent. My variable is in the exponent. So I'm going to apply my power property of logs to bring it down. So really, I have x times log of 4 is equivalent to log of 80. To get rid of the multiplying by log of 4, I'm going to divide both sides by my log of 4. And that's going to allow me to cancel it out. And so x is equal to log of 80 divided by log of 4. And I'm going to go right to my calculator and find that value. So I have log 80, close the parentheses, divided by log 4, close the parentheses, hit enter. And the value is 3.1609. I want to round to the thousandths. So that 9 rounds that 0 up to a 1. And so I have x equals 3.161. And so there we go. Now let's try this one. We notice now we have a variable expression. In our exponent. We don't just have x like in the previous example. We have x plus 1. That doesn't change the process. We can't find a common base for these. So to get the variable out of the exponent, I'm going to take the log of both sides, the log of the left side and the log of the right side. So I'm going to take the log of 6 to the x plus 1 power and the log of 8. So log of 6 to the x plus 1 equals log of 8. I do this so I can apply my power of logarithms, the power property of logarithms. This exponent of x plus 1 now comes down, and I'm going to put it inside of a parentheses because it is an expression. So really, I have x plus 1 times log of 6 equals log of 8. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to divide, just like I did before, by my log. I'm going to divide both sides by log of 6. That's going to isolate my object. And so I get x plus 1 equals log of 8 over log of 6. Now, I like perfect answers. I like knowing what the, what the answer is going to be exactly and then go into the calculator and find it from here. So I know to solve for x, I'm going to subtract 1. And so x equals log of 8 over log of 6 minus 1. That's the exact answer for it. And then I go to my calculator to get the approximate value of it. So I'm going to clear out what we have. Now, if you don't like the exact answer, I'm going to show you what you can do. You can, at this step right here, just find out what is log of 8 divided by log of 6. And that is 1.1605, so 1.161. So you could find this value as 1. 0.161 log of 8 divided by log of 6. Then you can subtract your 1. So really at this step, you have x plus 1 
equals 1.161, then solve by subtracting 1. Some people, this is a lot easier for them to understand, to find this value first, and then subtract 1. I like perfect exact values before I go to my calculator. So I really have 1.161 minus 1 for it. And so that means x equals 0.161. If you're like me and you like the exact values, then what we can do is I'm going to use the new operating system, alpha y equals, choose the fraction, and do log of 8 divided by log of 6 and subtract 1. And if we take a look, we will see it is the same as what we have when we round. We get 1605.161. Either way is acceptable. If you want to convert to decimal here and solve, that's fine. If you want to use this and solve, it is fine as well.